University of Brasilia, from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. The University of Brasilia is one of the largest and most prestigious Brazilian public universities funded by the Brazilian federal government. It is located in the country's capital, Brasilia. In Brasilia, there are over 114 colleges recognized by the MEC, or the Ministry of Education. History The University of Brasilia Foundation was created on December 15, 1961. Professor Darcy Ribeiro became its first chancellor and was one of the most enthusiastic supporters of its creation. The architect, Oscar Niermeyer, designed its main building, the Central Institute of Sciences, or the ICC. From its very beginning, the University of Brasilia strived for excellence in teaching, research, and outreach courses open to the community at large, thereby ranking as one of the most respected universities in Brazil. The institution was created on, the, on April 21, 1962, following the plan of its founders, educator Ancio Teixeira and anthropologist Professor Darcy Ribeiro. As of 2010, it had 1,757 professors and 2,391 employees, as well as over 30,000 graduate and undergraduate students. Each semester, the University of Brasilia accepts nearly 2,000 incoming students for its 61 undergraduate programs. On the graduate level, the university offers 49 master's degrees and 27 doctoral programs. Academics it has 22 institutes, 50 departments, 16 scientific, technological, cultural, artistic, and general service centers, student and staff residences, a university hospital, a sports center, a seismological observatory, several physical experiment facilities, including plasma, liquid crystals, complex fluids, and optical spectroscopy. An animal research laboratory, a library with a huge archive, a restaurant for students, a farm for ecological, agricultural, and forestry research, and an ecological station. University of Brasilia is about to build its own technological park. The university was one of the first in Brazil to offer the continuous evaluation program as an alternative way for high school students to get into college without having to pass by the two phases of vestibular. The University of Brasilia entrance exam is regarded as one of the most competitive and difficult in the country. Each semester, the University of Brasilia accepts nearly 2,000 incoming students from a pool of approximately 25,000 candidates for its 61 daytime or evening undergraduate programs. On the graduate level, the university offer offers 56 master's programs and 31 doctorate programs. It also offers various advanced non-degree programs, many of them conducted in other Brazilian states, such as Bahia, Amazonas, Rondia, Goiás, and Rio Grande do Norte. The Technological and Scientific Development National Council and the Coordination for the Improvement of Higher Education Personnel support most of these courses, offering scholarships research grants. Distance education is another expanding activity in UNB, being managed by the Center for Open, Continuous, and Long-Distance Learning and the School of Education. The United Nations Educational, Social, and Cultural Organization sponsors the Long Distance Education Chair at UNB. Ranking The University of Brasilia has been consistently ranked as one of the top five public universities in Brazil by Goya do Estudante, an annual publication of Editoria Abril. It currently ranks at number three in the list of the best universities in the country. Several of its graduate programs have been graded six and seven in a scale of one to seven in the annual assessment conducted by the government agency CAPES, including its programs in anthropology, mathematics, geology, economics, law, among others. Its programs in economics, international affairs, and political science are ranked at number one among public universities in the country. Campus. UNB is located in the heart of Brasilia, on the banks of the Panoa Lake, marked by an unmistakable modernist architecture. UNB's central library has the largest archive in Midwestern Brazil and caters to the needs of the federal district and of researchers from across the nation. UNB maintains a modern university restaurant as well as the Fazenda Agua Limpa, a 
farm in the outskirts of Brasilia where ecological, agricultural, and forestry research is conducted. Community involvement. The university runs 115 community outreach projects, offering a total of 438 courses and events. Involving the direct participation of 240 professors and 65,132 students, these activities reach nearly 185,000 people in the federal district and the surrounding region. The outreach activities include the Future with Art, Cultural and Sport Program, the Community Initiatives Advisory Program, the Program for Worker and Trade Union Leadership Training, the Rural Development Program, and the Model Office for Legal Assistance. University members also offer consulting and assistance to the Community Health Training Program. The Dean of Outreach Programs has recently formalized its outreach school, which will expand the number of courses offered, further opening the doors of university to the community. Research. More than 260 formerly constituted research groups work in more than 400 different laboratories, investigating close to 890 different areas. This research, research rather, is supported by such programs as the Technological and Scientific Initiation Program and the Special Training Program, which also offer scholarships to gifted undergraduates. Among other agencies, programs are funded by the CNPQ, the CAPES, the Research and Projects Funding Program, the Technological and Scientific Development Support Program, and the Federal District Research Support Foundation. Other key players in the research area are the International Center for Condensed Matter Physics, the Brazilian Center for Protein Sequencing, the Center for Maintenance of Equipment, and the University Herbarium. The Technological Development Center works to integrate the university to the business world, maintaining a small business startup program and other types of consulting assistance to the entrepreneurial upstarts. Continuous Evaluation Program The Continuation Evaluation Program gives students who want to study in the university the opportunity to be evaluated on a yearly basis during their three years of high school. This not only allows the university to know its prospective students better, but also stimulates them to study more intensely and continuously from their first day in high school. The university prefers this system to the old system of single entrance examinations. International Students The university accepts international students through exchange programs, undergraduate student programs, postgraduate programs, and courtesy of the federal constitution. Exchange programs. These are for international students from academic institutions and organizations that have an agreement or an accord signed with the university. The program lasts from six months to one year. Undergraduate students program. This program is for the students from university institutions of developing countries that have developed activities in cooperation with the Brazilian government. Students from Latin America, Africa, and Asia are the biggest partners of the UNB in this project. The PEC-G searches the formation of human resources in developing countries and also wants to extend the effectiveness for the origin countries. Postgraduate Program This program is through the Brazilian embassies abroad. The main objective is to promote the qualification of senior staff of the developing countries by offering master's and doctorate degrees courtesy of the Federal Constitution. This is foreseen by the Brazilian Federal Constitution and the foreign affairs treats to the diplomats that are working in Brasilia, the capital of the country, and to its legal dependents. The sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 3.0 Unported License, available at http colon slash slash creativecommons.org slash licenses slash buy dash sa slash 3.0.